Shall we begin? Hey there, boys and girls. Bob Kearns, the unsung photographer. Today we're gonna to be talking about color. And we're at a photo shoot in a uh, art gallery, the Bristol Center for the Arts. We're good enough to let us come in and shoot today. And today we're gonna to be talking about the power of color. And we're in here with Rochette and Chanel and Justine working on the next look. These guys are really the ones that make or break you. If you don't have a good team, you point the camera at nothing, it doesn't work. Now we have a look at the folks that contribute to these. Let's take a look at an image strictly in black and white. We've got a very nice image of a beautiful woman. This is Chanel, by the way, standing in a very lovely art gallery. There's nothing wrong with this photograph. The tones are nice, the contrast is nice, the separation is good, but look what happens when we add back the color. Suddenly we bring life back into the photograph. We bring warmth, we bring tension, we bring, bring detail. Uh, look at the color work in Chanel's eyes and how it matches the palette of the rest of the room. We've really made this image a lot more contemporary and a lot more impactful by the use of color. And these colors aren't extreme. Let's go to a portion of the shoot where the colors did get extreme. You, we did this exercise once, but let's do it one more time. Only this time, you're going to see a really sharp difference in the color because we took the palette very extreme. But boom, now that is a burst of color. Uh, Marnu's bright red hair and the bright red lipstick and the extreme eye color all make this more than spectacular. This is the kind of extreme color that can have dramatic impact. All right, now we're going to do some color control. So what we're going to do, and I'm going to be kind of describing this as we go along. All I want you to do is just hold this up like this. Behind your chin. All right. All right, perfect. All right, thank you. So what we've done essentially is take a shot with the uh, color checker passport from x right and we use that as a color standard. You've had a quick peek uh, at that, at the color combinations that we have in this particular photo. So as we watch the shoot in here, I'm going to talk about these pictures here for just a minute and show you a couple of examples. I just want you to note that these items are both lit separately. The painting behind her is lit with a speed light and the uh, Einstein with the grid is her light. The compression, they look so close together because I'm using a 200 millimeter lens for this and it brings them both uh, uh, very close like she's standing right in front of the painting but she's not. You've heard me call this the lion uh, shot a couple of times. Uh, it's basically because the painting she's standing in front of is a very colorful and stylized painting uh, of a lion's head. Uh, so we had to play with that a little bit. Uh, she's obviously has very striking, almost native-like designs painted on her and uh, an extreme eye makeup. And all this color, I asked Justine to come out and look at that painting and give me a makeup scheme that, may, you can see a little more of the lion there, give me a scheme that matched and she was fantastic. <sighs> long day, long shoot. Uh, we've shot different kinds of color. We've done gel colors. Uh, we've done what I call ambient colors. It's not really ambient light, it's still lit, but we basically took a backdrop that existed in a piece of art here in the studio and had the makeup match. <coughs> we've done uh, blended colors, where we had the outfits blend in with artwork that was existing on the walls, adding both contrasting and complementary colors. And we went to real ambient light and took very subtle colors, warm colors, um, to make you feel that you were in a place of comfort uh, and safety. So these are the impacts that colors can have on you. Be aware of it in your art. It can be aggressive. 
It can be stimulating and it can be comforting depending upon the palette that you pick for your photographs. So pay attention to your color, treat your color well, uh, control your color, and good luck with color in the future. So we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Shall we begin?